Hey guys, this is Todd from the uh, Bible Study Channel, and today I just want to bring you a quick review overview of this uh, compact Bible from Church Bible Publishers, uh, formerly local Church Bible Publishers, but uh, I don't know a lot about the story, but from what I gather, the gentleman that founded uh, local Church Bible Publishers was uh, perhaps uh, forced out of the company by uh, whoever's in charge of it now. And so he went and started his own company uh, called Church Bible Publishers. And uh, also from, from what I hear, uh, the, the printer that used to print local church Bible publishers, uh, shut that door please. The printer that used to print uh, local church Bible publishers Bibles now prints these, uh, they went with him and prints the church Bible publisher. So anyway, I, uh, B, really? He's not dead. He's alive. He's I know. I see alive. that. All right. Get him out of the house, please. I don't know. I'm going to... And, uh, <clears throat> so I went ahead and sent him an email and I asked if he would, uh, send me a copy for a review on the, uh, Bible study channel. And he was kind enough to do that. It arrived in the mail today. This is a three-piece uh, compact ironed calf skin. And uh, so you can see its edge line there. And of course it's stitched around the edges here. And you open it up here. Now if you can see here, with the three piece, it's this is very flexible and supple, but you can see where where the pieces connect. That's a very a very firm a firm line, and it's a lot harder to uh, open this. Maybe this part will uh, become more supple and soft in time. But for now, when you open the Bible up, it's a little bit a little bit harder to uh, open this part. These these parts flop down, but it creates a little bit of a, a hump here in the middle. Uh, <clears throat> here we go. It's item number. It's the 115, which I think corresponds to the old uh, local church Bible publishers 115, which I thought, I was under the impression that it was the same text as the uh, Alan Brevere Clarendon, I think, or, or, or no, the Cambridge Cameo, I, I think is what what I, I thought that the 115 was. Text, very good, very readable. Like I said, you can kind of see that because of the firmness uh, caused by uh, these parts here and the stitching together, it's very firm. You can feel on both sides that it's reinforced both ways. I don't think there's gonna be any problem with separation of these pieces, but the firmness just makes Makes it a little harder to, to flatten out. So it's not exactly um, laying as flat as I would like. But the text is great. <clears throat> Readability is perfect. And this is a not a red letter, it's a black letter edition. This was uh, a deal, and I've seen this before when I ordered the, uh, I think, the Remnant Study Edition Bible, the first one I got, or perhaps, yeah, I think that was the Remnant Study Edition. I have a picture of it on my old blog, uh, the Our Sword blog, and uh, sometimes in printing, this happens where, for whatever reason, the, the pages don't get cut correctly, and then unfortunately with this one, um, it's better if the if just the pages don't get cut correctly, but unfortunately this one it also ripped ripped quite a bit down there. But luckily not into the text. So that and the next page. This page seems to be alright. And then this page here, there's just a very slight little rip. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about these. I'm definitely gonna cut this the extra paper off so it's flush with the rest. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this whole piece off or if I'm just going to leave this flap down and just cut cut along the line. 
I'm not sure. But so that's a bummer right there in Daniel, but no big deal. No big deal. Uh, here we are in the book of Mark. And like I said, this is not a red letter. It's all black letter. Hebrews. Okay. Let's take a look at the what's in the back here. Okay, that's the last page of Revelation. And then it moves into a short glossary of biblical usage, which you should be familiar with. The concordance to the Old and New Testaments. And it is a good sized concordance. So 138, 139 page concordance, 139 page concordance. And then you move into the concise Bible dictionary. Now this is the same things I think exactly that are on my Cambridge Concord. And the Bible dictionary is full of a lot of good information. All kinds of tables and charts and whatnot. It's all within the Bible dictionary. And then the maps. There we go, eight maps. And they're kind of a cool old school type of map. here a few pages of that and then some card stock whatever blank blank hard pages and then back to the back and you can see a little bit here of this I didn't even realize that that part was glued but you can see a little bit of glue tearing back there which is strange uh-huh, there's the back here. Ironed calf skin, brown and black, three piece. The gold and black there. Decent little ribbons, kind of just Cambridge ribbons. So that's that. Oh, also, it's something I found interesting. And we will turn to First Corinthians 13, which I just finished memorizing this and I was placing the ribbon there and here is uh, I just ordered I actually paid for this one this was uh, 70 something dollars uh, including shipping I got it from a, a KJV store online I think it was called and this is the personal Concord and I just wanted to show you real quick Second Corinthians, First Corinthians, thirteen. Look at this. This is the personal concord on top, and this is the Church of Bible Publishers Compact, one fifteen on bottom, thirteen fourteen. All right. Though I give, receive edifying. 13, 14. Though I give, receive edifying. Page 197. Page 197. All the gifts are nothing, are nothing worth without charity. All the gifts are nothing worth without charity. That's weird that it doesn't say worth nothing. Hmm. Anyway, you can see that it is the exact same layout, same pagination and everything as the personal Concord. This is Church Bible Publishers Compact 115. This is a personal Concord. 
So it looks like the compact is just a personal Concorde. I'm not sure if the personal Concorde is the same as, as the uh, Cameo, the Cambridge Cameo, or what. You can see that they are practically, practically identical in size. The compact being just a just a hair larger than the personal Concord. And you can see that it's not just the cover, but the text itself is just just a bit larger on the compact than it is on the but the pagination and layout is exactly the same, which is very interesting. All right, so that's it. This is a beautiful Bible. Um, I would advise you to pick one up. I'm, I'm not gonna send it back, of course. It was just a review copy, so obviously I'm not gonna complain about it. Not a big deal. But if you were to buy one of these and it had some issues like this, I'm sure you could send it back and they would replace that. Or just snip it off and no big deal. That's it. This is Todd from the Bible Study channel saying whatever bible you get get it and read it every day amen